Oatmanu Lal joins us now. He's the director of the Columbia Water Center and a professor of engineering at Columbia University. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Um, I'm very concerned about what's going on. Well, we, uh, as we've been hearing, have been witnessing severe droughts in Europe, parts of the United States, and all over the world, really. And there is concern about the water supplies and how to save it. You said you're concerned. How dire is the situation? And are we at immediate risk of running dry? So uh, we have droughts at some place on the planet almost every year. And some of these droughts can be quite severe. But what is going on this year with the heat and the drought uh, on all, basically across the Northern Hemisphere. So we have drought in the Western United States, drought in the Eastern United States, drought in Western Europe, drought in Southern Europe, drought in India, and drought in China. This is unprecedented. And to a great extent, this is associated with warming. And what we have been afraid of and talking about for the last 40 years uh, without really having made a lot of headway on the climate issue. And as a result, we are seeing water dry up. What are some ways to conserve the water? What is being done by governments and what can be done by regular people? So in terms of what we can do, uh, you know, there are the usual sort of choices of conserving water, uh, improving water use efficiency in agriculture. But most of those have been put in place in many of the locations that are currently experiencing drought. So the choices that we would normally activate are simply not available in many of these places now. And uh, as a result, crops will suffer. The populations will have restrictions on water availability. And we will probably get through this by the winter. But uh, this could very well become a permanent state of affairs and as a result, much of the economic activity and population in many of the places that we are seeing the droughts in this year could be at risk. So you are also an engineer. As an engineer, is there really only so much you can do to help improve the water supplies? Yes, unfortunately, well, the picture that we are seeing with the reservoirs in the United States and on the Yangtze River speaks to that. Uh, the situation is not as dire yet as it could be because most of these reservoirs are designed so that in the worst design drought, they will go empty. And we do not have any of these reservoirs that are empty yet. But if this pattern continues, then once the reservoirs go dry, we do not have stock available for water to meet the demands in the next cycle of the drought. And so from an engineering perspective, if you don't have supply, eventually you don't have a choice. In many places such as North India and also California, we have started relying on groundwater. But that is mining because it's not being replenished. And once it's used up, it's basically gone. And uh, also, as groundwater is used to excess, the land subsides. So that also causes damage. 